In today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to adjust your Fox DSC suspension. This is my personal vehicle, a 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road and a six-speed manual transmission. I'm gonna be going over how to adjust this in the way that I've received so many comments and simply putting text over a little comment does not explain how to adjust this suspension fully. This is gonna allow you to adjust this right after install. You don't need any tools and you don't need a suspension shop. This is why the suspension is so versatile and becoming one of the number one suspensions on the market today. And that is exactly why I bought this suspension. Let's get into the video. Comment if I didn't go over anything below. I'll get to every comment as you've seen in my previous videos. If you wanna see the front suspension install, go ahead and watch the video in the link below. So now that we're looking in the rear, I'm gonna go ahead and explain what we're looking at here. Uh, here is your rear shock that connects to your axle. Here's the hose that connects your reservoir. And most importantly, here is your DSC adjustment, which is dual speed compression. So this is where you'll be doing the adjustment to fine tune your suspension. This is what the 2.5 reservoir looks like up close. We're gonna be going over how to adjust the DSC. So the blue knob is your high speed and the gold knob is your low speed. So quickly going over high speed, you have 12 clicks and six being a happy medium between fast movement and slow movement. But I suggest when you get your truck to put it all the way to the left and all the way to the right, therefore knowing the extremes of this knob so that you have a basis of gauging what you like and don't like. So the high speed is good for fast movement, essentially when you're driving on a log road, when you're driving in the dunes and you want your tire to go up and down quickly and absorb those imperfections on the road. So I highly recommend paying attention to this knob before you look into the low speed. Now that we've gone over the high speed, let's go over the low speed. So the low speed knob is again, the gold knob. And unfortunately it does not click like the high speed. So I suggest marking it with a Sharpie so that you know when you've done a full turn versus a half turn. And you could tell how much you've essentially pulled it out by the distance between the top of the blue knob and the base of the gold knob. So don't worry, you could base your measurement off that, it's not a big deal. So this knob is gonna control those huge G outs that you get when you're coming down rough terrain, your tires tucked all the way into your wheel well, and that you wanna control that downward movement. So this will be good to adjust as a secondary, but the most important adjustment in my opinion is the high speed. Now we're taking a closer look up at the front here. You'll see that there are threads showing right here from the Fox factory. It gives you about two inches of lift, which essentially means one inch of lift with the factory third gen Tacomas as they come an inch lifted from the factory. So that's something to take into consideration. When I called Fox customer service, I asked them how many threads should be showing and they said do not count the threads as a tape measure works better to average out each side. So they said with this particular setup for a 2017 Toyota Tacoma and this isn't taking into consideration that you don't want the coils to bind and then you don't want the upper control arms to extend fully and lock your uniball and start damaging things. So what they said is that you are to measure from the top of the threads to the top of the collar. And it's 1.75 inches or one and three quarter inches of thread showing. This is going to give you the best ride as it compensates for full down travel and up travel without giving you like a 60 to 40% ratio. Also, like the rear, you could adjust it with this reservoir in the front, which is sandwiched between the sway bar and the frame itself. If you need help installing this front suspension, then you could go ahead and watch my other video. So going over some simple tricks and tips 
to adjust the suspension is that first you want to begin by turning the blue knob all the way to the left and then the blue knob all the way to the right. And when the blue knob is all the way to the left, you want the gold knob all the way in or all the way out. Therefore, you get a feel for all four extremes. So this is gonna be a suspension that you're able to adjust on the fly. That is why I bought it, because everyone has a personal preference. For example, if you have your girlfriend in the car and you want a softer ride in the city and off-road, you could adjust for that. But if you're driving 70 miles an hour to the trail, you could tighten up your suspension so that your suspension does not feel loose or have sway on the freeway. So this gives you the best outcome for suspension. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be on the lookout for future videos. I'm gonna go over how to install the rear, what I think about the suspension and an overall aesthetic video. Um, I think a lot of people are interested on what the suspension looks like as there's only a few vehicles that have this suspension um, that you could Google search the image. I don't think that does it justice. So be on the lookout for those videos and as always, comment below.